everyone, and welcome back. This week, we're diving into the world of startups. Focusing on two really hot sectors right now, environmental solutions and enterprise software. And to guide us, we've got the latest funding recap from Bear Hug Recruiting, hot off the press from the week of October 7th. So It's like getting a sneak peek yeah. at where the smart money is going. Exactly. Which companies are poised for big things. And one thing is crystal clear from this report. AI is everywhere. I mean, it's incredible. Right it now. really is striking. Almost every company on this list. Almost every single one. Is leveraging AI in some way. It really speaks to how central AI is becoming. It's not just a buzzword anymore. It's foundational now. It's it, how things are getting done. Exactly. This is the new normal. So rather than burying you in a mountain of company names. We've picked out a few standouts. We get curated. That really capture the diversity of what's happening. The breadth. Different industries. Different funding stages. Different problems they're solving. This is a panoramic snapshot. Exactly. Yeah. The startup ecosystem right now. First up, we've got Neve. They're building a cloud platform for smart buildings. Mm -hmm. And they just snagged a $15 million Series A. And when we say smart buildings, we're not just talking about automated lighting or something. Right. Like Neve is creating like the central nervous system for a building. Think managing the lighting, Security. temperature, energy usage, all optimized, all learning and adapting based on how people actually use the space. It's pretty amazing. It's incredible. And, you know, Nitesh Trika, the founder, has some big names backing him on this one. Can Pira Fitzgerald. RXR. These are major players. This is not. That tells you something. Your uncle's venture fund. Exactly. Okay, shifting gears a bit here. Have you ever wished that grocery shopping could be a little more, I don't know, high tech? Oh, tell me about it. I mean, standing there, staring at a wall of cereal, trying to figure out if this one's expired or which milk is the freshest. <laughs> yes. It's like, right. Come well, Ogmodo might have the answer. They're using something called spatial AI to completely change how we shop for groceries. Yeah, they've developed these smart badges. And they're led by Ross Finman, by the way. I, that's right. So these smart badges, they attach to products. Okay. And they work with these 3D store maps to track inventory in real time. Hold on, hold back. A spatial AI, what is that? It's kind of what it sounds like. It's AI that understands the physical world. Okay. So in Ogmodo's case, it's AI that knows where everything is in the store. Wow. And how much is left on the shelves. That's wild. It's like having eyes everywhere. So instead of those employees with the big scanner guns at the end of the night. You got real-time data. So you know what to restock? You can optimize your supply chain. Reduce waste. Mm -hmm. Make sure customers so always have what they need. No wonder they just got $5.3 in seed funding. Investors are seeing the potential here. Lira Hippo and Dunhumby Ventures. Big names. They know that data is king, even in the grocery aisle. And that's really what we're seeing across the board here, data, AI. It's transforming everything. Okay, so we've talked about smarter buildings. We've talked about AI in the grocery store. Let's talk about something I think we can all relate to a little bit more, marketing. Oh, yeah. It's a headache sometimes, right? Content creation, analytics. It's overwhelming trying to keep up with all the platforms. It's a beast. Right. That's where AirOps comes in. Bring some order. Bringing some sanity. To the chaos. Yeah. Alex Halliday, the founder, they've created this AI-powered platform to help marketers Manager scale their work. It's like you know, automating tasks. Having an army of super efficient interns. Right. Taking care of all that tedious stuff. And we're talking sophisticated AI here. This isn't just scheduling your social media posts. This is likely machine learning, analyzing your data, suggesting optimized campaigns, uncovering insights that humans might miss. So it's not just about doing things faster. It's about doing them smarter. Way smarter. And they've already got big names on board. And Klein, Toys, ours, they're using it. And they just pulled in $15.5 million in Series A funding. From some heavy hitters. Unusual VC, Wing VC. This is a company to watch. Definitely. Speaking of companies to watch, let's talk about Billables. They're taking on the often dreaded world of, you guessed it. Time tracking. Dang. Those two words strike fear into the hearts of. Oh, don't even get me started with the timesheets. Right. Well, what? imagine You're... never having to manually track your billable hours again. Tell me more. That's what Billables is all about. Okay. Arvind Sujith, the founder, 
They've created this AI that integrates with all the tools you already use. Microsoft 365, Zoom, you name it. It tracks your work activities automatically and even generates invoices. Wait, so no more trying to recreate my entire day? From a pile of sticky notes. From memory, yes. Yeah. <laughs> From a pile of sticky notes. This is revolutionary. It takes away those administrative headaches so you can focus on what matters, your clients. And investors clearly see the value in this. $3.9 million seed round led by Wing VC and F7 Ventures. That's huge. Okay, so we've gone from smart buildings to AI grocery shopping to- Online marketing. And now revolutionized professional services, all in just a few minutes. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've got a lot more ground to cover, from counterfeits to supply chains. So buckle up because we are just getting started. And we're back. Remember how we were just talking about AI revolutionizing professional services? Mm -hmm. Well, get this. Some companies are applying it to fight counterfeiting. Now, that's a global problem. Huge. That hits businesses and consumers hard. Billions lost, uh, not to mention. Uh, the safety risks. Right. You just don't know what you're getting with some of these fake products. Exactly. And that's where Marquisia comes in. Okay. They're using AI to tackle this head on. So how do they do it? How do you use AI to combat something as massive as counterfeiting? So Mark Lee, the founder, he's created this system that basically scans the entire internet mm -hmm. across 118 countries looking for fakes. 118 countries, wow. It analyzes images, text, social media, you name it. So this isn't just about reacting after the fact. They're out there proactively. Proactively hunting down. Hunting down these fakes. And they don't just remove the listing. They give brands the tools to protect themselves long term. That's huge. And it looks like investors are taking notice. They just secured a $16 million Series A funding round. Yeah, $16 million. That's a big deal. And some serious backers, too. All Coast Ventures. Oh, yeah. They're a big deal. And you've probably heard of Y Combinator. They've helped launch some really big names. Right. Dropbox, Airbnb, Stripe. Exactly. So you know this is a space to watch. Yeah. As online marketplaces grow. It's only going to get tougher to police this stuff. That's right. Speaking of marketplaces, I hear there's a company using AI to shake things up in the world of, get this, chemicals and raw materials. You're talking about Valdera. Valdera, okay. Shruti Aromani, the founder, she's going after a real pain point for manufacturers. Which is? Sourcing. Find the right materials at the right price. It's a nightmare. I bet. It's got to be such a headache. So is this like a... I don't know, a dating app, but for chemicals? You know, it's not that far off. Mm. So instead of swiping right, Valdera's AI analyzes this massive database okay. of materials, supplier profiles, market trends ah. to find the perfect match. No more spending hours on the phone, sending emails, trying to track down That's the right. right supplier. It's all automated. That's got to be a game changer. Oh, absolutely. Faster, more efficient, more cost effective. And they just raised a $15 million Series A buy. index ventures. Another big name. And get this, on their list of investors, they've got former executives from P&G, Estee Lauder. These are people who know this world inside and out. Wow, okay, so they're definitely onto something. It yeah. seems like this theme of, you know, AI optimizing these really complex processes, it's popping up everywhere. Everywhere you look. Yeah. And that brings us to Pallet. They're diving headfirst into, well, the often chaotic world of boy, transportation yeah. and warehouse management. <laughs> Two things that don't always go smoothly. Please tell me they're using AI for this, too. What do you think? Of course they are. So Shant Raman, the founder, he's set on replacing those clunky old systems, the manual processes, all that stuff that slows things down. So what's their secret sauce? How are they using AI to do this? So picture this. A single platform that connects everything, all the players in your supply chain, trucking companies, warehouses, your customers, everything. Okay. And the AI automates everything. Okay. Order entry, dispatching, invoicing, even billing. Wow. And you get real-time tracking, insights, the whole nine yards. So no more frantic calls wondering where your shipment is. Exactly. It's all right there at your fingertips. I love it. And investors clearly see the potential. $18 million Series A funding round. Awesome. Bain Capital Ventures, Vesper <laughs> Venture Partners. These are not small fish. Okay, so Pallet is definitely a company to keep an eye on. For sure. All right, from optimizing supply chains, let's shift gears to a company tackling something we all interact with on a daily basis. Customer service. Specifically, Crescendo. And they're trying to blend the best of AI and that human touch. Right, because you know Matt Price, the founder... He's not trying to replace human agents altogether. Thank goodness. So it's more about giving them... Giving them the tools. Superpowers. Exactly. To handle those interactions better. I like it. So what does that look like in practice? 
So Crescendo's AI, it takes care of those routine tasks, you know, the stuff that bogs agents down. Yeah. But it also gives them real-time insights so they can handle those more complex issues, give more personalized support. And it's a win-win. Everybody wins. Customers get better service. Agents are happier. And it looks like investors agree they just pulled in a $50 million venture round. $50 million. That's huge. And who's behind this? General Catalyst, Celesta Capital, some big names there. Wow. Okay, that's a big vote of confidence. But, you know, as AI gets more sophisticated, you know, more powerful, it does raise some important questions, right? right? For sure. Like, what about protecting our identities, our digital identities in a world of, you know, increasingly realistic deepfakes? It's a big concern. And that's something that Lodi is tackling head on. Okay, Lodi, so tell me they're using AI for this, too, because this is starting to feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie. A pretty cutting-edge stuff. Hmm? Luke Aragoni, their founder, they're using AI to fight back against those deep fakes. Okay. And other forms of digital impersonation. Which are only getting easier to create. Exactly. Yeah. As AI advances, it's getting easier and easier to make these fake videos audio. Which opens the door for all sorts of problems. Misinformation, you know, identity theft, harassment even. And that's where Lodi comes in. They can actually detect wow. and remove unauthorized use of someone's likeness online. So it's like a digital bodyguard for your online self. Exactly. They're getting a lot of attention. Just raised $6.65 million in seed funding. Led by? FUFSE, Bling Capital. Okay. And even Kokla Ventures is in the mix, and they're known for their early bets on some big companies. It's really encouraging to see companies tackling these complex ethical challenges because AI, it's not going away. It's here to stay. But wait, there's still more to uncover in this funding recap. Yeah, I know, right. When we come back, we'll dive into the world of AI-powered sales and explore what the future holds for the workforce, so don't go anywhere. And we're back. We've covered a lot of ground already, but we've still got some fascinating companies to explore. Like View. They're using AI to change the game for sales teams. Yeah, they're tackling a big one, B2B sales. Which can be tough, right? It's all about those warm introductions. Yeah. You know, who you know. And that's what View is trying to crack. Okay, so tell me more. How do they do it? So Simon Scaria, the founder, he's built this AI platform that goes way beyond those generic lead lists. Ugh, those things are useless. Right. It's not just about quantity. It's about quality. Makes sense. So Views AI analyzes literally billions of relationships, pulls in industry-specific data, all to find those connections that matter. So you're not just cold calling random people. You've got a foot in the door. Exactly. You've got that warm intro. It's brilliant. And it's clearly resonating with investors. They just raised an $11 million seed round. Wow. Led by Trilogy Equity Partners and Incubate Fund. OK, so big names are taking notice. You know, from sales calls, let's jump over to something that I think a lot of us have experienced at some point. Those car dealership phone systems. Oh, no. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that make you want to pull your hair out. Right. Press one for sales, press two for service, press three. And then you end up on hold forever. Exactly. But I hear Numa is trying to change that, right? Yeah. They want to make that experience uh -huh. so much better. How are they doing that? So Tasso Romiliotis, the founder, He's using AI to create these really smart phone agents. They're designed to be, well, more human. So you call up the dealership and you actually get your questions answered. What a concept. Without the hassle. Without wanting to bang your head against the wall. So whether you're trying to, you know, book a test drive or figure out a trade in value, it's all smooth sailing. Exactly. And it's not just good for customers either. It helps the dealerships too. Yeah. Streamlines their operations, makes them more efficient. And it looks like it's paying off. They just raised a $32 million Series B. Wow. Who's backing them on this? Touring Capital, Mitsui Co. Big players. So from sales calls to car dealerships, it seems like AI is popping up everywhere we turn. It is. And you know, one thing we keep coming back to is this idea of automation. It's the big elephant in the room. What happens to human workers as AI gets smarter and smarter? Exactly. It's the question everyone's asking. And it's something that Artisan is trying to address head on. Okay, Artisan, tell me more. They're actually developing AI-powered virtual employees. Think of it like AI coworkers. Whoa, AI coworkers. So, like, I have a robot buddy at work now. Mm -hmm. Not exactly a robot, but you get the idea. So they've started with a sales agent named Ava. Ava? Yep, Ava's the AI sales agent, and she helps with things like writing emails, managing outreach campaigns, you know, all those tasks that can really bog down a sales team. The tedious stuff, so you can focus on the bigger picture. Exactly. And, you know, they're not stopping there. They want to create a whole suite of AI employees. 
marketing, customer service, you name it. That's wild. It really feels like we're on the cusp of something big here. We are. And investors are betting on it. They just raised $7.3 million in seed funding. Okay, not bad. Who's behind this one? Oliver Jung led the round with participation from Sequoia Scout. And you've probably heard of Y Combinator. They've got a knack for picking winners. They do. Yeah. But it really does make you think about the future of work. Mm -hmm. What does it look like when AI is this integrated into our professional lives? I mean, this has been a recurring theme in this entire funding recap. It has. It's the big question, right? What happens when AI can do more and more of the things that humans used to do? Exactly. And there are no easy answers. No easy answers. But one thing's for sure, AI is here to stay. We've seen it everywhere today. It's revolutionizing industries left and right. It's exciting and a little bit daunting at the same time. It is. There's huge potential for good. Ah. AI can help us solve really big problems. It can make our lives easier. It can create new opportunities. But we've got to be smart about it. We've got to make sure these technologies are developed responsibly, ethically, that they benefit everyone, not just a select few. So that's the challenge. That's the big question we're all grappling with right now. Well said. It's definitely a lot to think about. So as we wrap up our deep dive this week, I'll leave you with this. What kind of future do we want to build with AI? How do we shape this technology for good? Lots to ponder, right? Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and we'll see you on the next deep dive.